Hello, it's Tail. I'm playing Rise of Flight, continuing with my Sopwith Camel career. Today is July the 28th, 1917, and we're still with our number 8 Naval Squadron, which as some kind commenter told me eventually becomes the number 208 Squadron, um, which there apparently should be a skin for that squadron in the game, so I just need to use that skin instead. But uh, anyway, let's have a look at... Um, I think some of you want to say what was in some of these other tabs here. I'm not sure what there is. Here is the um, uh, pilot description of my terrible doings in the slums of London. Uh, and it's loading something. I don't know what it is. I'm feeling a little, not depressed, but a little bit down in the dumps because I've been having a few problems with... Um, some of the games I've been playing. So, Silent Hunter 3, for example, problems with that. Um, the X-Tory, I found out, has a problem where, over a period of time, um, the sync, the sound will uh, desync with the video. And that's happened. I thought it was my own uh, editing that caused that in previous videos, but it turns out it's the X-Tory. I've tried searching and I can't s seem to find an easy. Um, uh, uh, b b b uh, what do you call this? Solution. So I'm back to fraps, which isn't isn't a great problem. But it just means I'll have to manually sync up my voice in the game because I record them separately. Here is some um, general news. Apparently, we've raided some German bases. We're fighting for Lens. And here's a list of the current aces with Victorfen. Richtofen, 57. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure when he died actually. He could still be alive at this point in the war, probably, I would assume. Um, headquarters, what's here? This is just a map of the area. And uh, then we're on to missions. So let's see what the missions will be today. First of all, there is a um, an offensive patrol, which I am not taking part in. Then a balloon attack. Which I'm also not taking a part in, so this could be um, an easy day for me, or we could have another scramble. Let's find out. So let's see. Offensive patrol was completed. Everyone looked like they came back alive, which is good. Then balloon attack. Let the computer work out the permutations. They failed to kill the balloon, but no one died, so uh, that's acceptable. Let's go on to the next day. It's going to be a Sunday, day of rest, but probably not for me in this game. So July 29th, weather is good. 32 degrees, wow. I wish it was, well, actually I don't wish it was 32 degrees here because that's a little too hot, but the weather is crap at the minute, where I am. has been for about a week or more now. Um, so on the 29th we have a line patrol, which again I'm not on. Protection patrol, which I'm not on. And then a balloon attack, which I shall be taking part in. So I do get to do something today. Let's run through these missions. Completed, no one, nothing exciting happens. Next mission. I've also bought a new mouse, which stopped working 10 minutes after I uh, plugged it in. <laughs> Everything's going wrong for me at the moment. Um, let's see. So, um, enough about my problems with my mice and games, everything. Let's let's have some fun. Let's, let's uh, shoot a balloon. So, um, any moment now the loading screen will come up and I shall skip to the map. Alright, here we go. Um, so, pretty straightforward, we fly from here over La Target, straight to our target, a balloon, we kill it and then we fly back again. Um, there should be a quote here but uh, apparently Gwilym Hugh Lewis didn't have much to say for himself. Uh, follow your assigned route and destroy the enemy observation balloon. 
Our infantry have been taking a beating. It must be brought down. Okay. Let's take a look at our hangar. See if we can find this paint scheme. So we want uh, 208. Number 208 squadron. Here we go. 208 squadron default. So this should be the default skin for, or default kind of paint scheme for my squadron. We also have Captain Roy Brown, who had his own special red get up to fly around in, which is pretty pretty nifty. Well, I guess for now I'll stick with the default. Um, I've changed the uh, gun sight convergence to about 50 because I thought, well, I want to do the maximum damage when I'm up close and personal with the enemy, so that'll be 50. That's the lowest you can go. And then everything's still kept the same, still not using the oldest gun sight. I like to have it with just the uh, normal gun sight. Um, yeah, so let's start. Let's get this party started on a wet Thursday afternoon in Sheffield. Okay. So quite a few of us going on this uh, balloon attack it looks like. One, two, three, four, five. A full complement of five planes. Magnificent flying machines. Here's my particular machine from the outside. Lower the fuel mixture a little bit. Okay. And I'll just wait for my comrades in arms to take off. They don't appear to have my uh, same skin that I have. Looks like they've just got a kind of default sop with camel skin, which is fine. And away we go. And we're off. Oh, a little bit of uh, frame luggage there. Seems to have cleared up. We. There's some planes up in the uh, distance I could see. Spotted them. There's they are a couple of dots moving uh, westward it looks like could be enemy could be friendly we just don't know don't forget to cock your guns very important I took part in a stream which Mr. Effing Controller ran a few days ago and he tried out Rise of Flight because he bought a joystick and he found uh, he learned to his cost the importance of um, always cocking your guns before entering the fray. Okay, well, it won't take us long to get to the balloon, I shouldn't think, but um, probably best I skip ahead, all the same. Um, so that's what I shall do. I'll see you very shortly. Okay, I have spotted the balloon. It is right there, just in the lower bottom right quarter of my gun sight. I'm still kind of forming up over the lines. But we'll want to get a height advantage on this balloon so we can dive upon it and send it to oblivion. Can't see any enemies around, as far as I can tell. Yeah, just flak bursts. Mm. 
Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah. Looks like we're all in the clear. I suppose it's a bit of overkill to have five planes venture out to kill a balloon. But um, if we're attacked by a massive squadron of Fockers, then um, obviously we would need strength in numbers. You never know who might be lurking up in the sky. It's a good point. I should probably keep an eye up above me as well. Uh, what are my comrades doing here? Flying past me, it looks like. Now I'm flying past them. They've suddenly slowed down. I don't know why. Don't crash into me, please. They spotted something that I haven't, maybe. They're way above me now. Okay, I think we may be about to dive on this poor balloon. Yep, looks like it. Okay, here we go. Balloon is being winched down. I'm going to throttle down a little bit. Make sure I don't over rev my engine. Die, balloon, die. It's dead, it's dead. Whoa, mission accomplished. Thank you. Where'd my friends go? Uh, I take it they didn't dive with me in my foolhardy attempt to get the kill. Although it worked. I think my friends have gone over here. Yep, yeah, that's them. Is that another balloon? That's another balloon. Uh, ooh, tempting target, but I don't want to lose sight of my friends here and get killed. Plus, it's already being winched down quite uh, low now to the ground, where there'll be lots of anti-aircraft guns to ruin my day if I get too close. So I will follow my comrades here. So far, looks like we're in the clear. At least in terms of enemy fighters. Flak. It takes a while to get used to identifying what's flak and what isn't. You can usually tell if it's an enemy or if it's a contact at least, a plane, by if it's moving or not, that's a good indication. Sometimes you see a little dot and think, is that something? No, it's just flak. So we're now down about 2,000 feet. Heading for base it looks like. So this seems to be a fairly straightforward mission. So with that, I will skip now until we get to the landing procedure, or if anything exciting happens. See you in a jiffy. You join me now over our airfield. We are circling around, waiting for an opportunity to land our crates, as they're called. 
I'm not sure how the landing system works here. Whether I'm supposed to wait till everybody else lands or if they're going to wait till I land. I don't know. I mean, it's not a runway, so there should be enough room for one or two planes to land at the same time. If maybe it could be a little bit dangerous, I suppose. Maybe I should fly, uh, fire some kind of flare to indicate it's my turn. I don't know. There's only the three of us up here, so two of my comrades have maybe already gone down to land. Can I see them down there? Don't see any planes on the ground. Uh, I think maybe I should just drop down and uh, have a go. Now I was the third one to take off, so I guess that means I'm the third one to land. Could be, well, let's give it a go. Uh, airfield is behind me. Use the blip switch. Lower the fuel mixture to uh, keep the engine nice and warm. Ah, now somebody said I need to land in the direction of the windsock. Where is the windsock? Firing white flares. Ah, there's one of my comrades now landing. So he lands over the hangars in that direction. There's the windsock. So the wind is blowing. Ah, that makes sense. So the wind is blowing that way across the hangars. So therefore you land into the wind. Righty ho then. Speed is pretty good. Just get a bit of distance away from the aerodrome before I turn around. Okay, and round we go. Turn off the map. Okay, so we should now be landing into the wind. Kind of. Although the wind looks like it's blowing from right to left, according to that wind suck there, but um, in mind, where are we? How fast are we going? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm sure I'm not going to crash into anybody. Blip the engine. Blip, blip, blip. Going pretty slowly. And pull up. Whee! Oh, we're down, we're down, we're down. Don't hurt the wings. Don't hurt the wings. Okay. And that's it. We're done. Pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at my friends. That's a balloon. Balloon. This guy's landing. Don't crash into me, please. Uh, should be okay. Bit of a bounce, but that's all right. It's good that they don't do the perfect landings that AI do in, for example, IL-2, where there's no bounce whatsoever. It's just absolute perfection. Um, and that's that. And there are no enemy objects remaining in the area. So, finish flight. Um, I'm pretty sure it was me who got the kill on that balloon. We shall find out. Yes, oh, one balloon kill. Excellent.
and <coughs> excuse me that should be it for today balloon attack su successful 17 minutes duration not a very long mission I got two combat points for that uh, attack for killing the balloon and then landing again alive so that's that for this episode I'm sorry it wasn't a very enthralling one but that's what you get with the career mode you never know what you're going to be confronted with join me next time for the continuing adventures of Sir Fish well he's not a sir he's a criminal he's a Fishington chip that's not even his real name he's a killer a cold-blooded murderer and he's coming back next time for another mission in uh, his stop with camels so I'll see you then goodbye